Yes, yes, we are back up in this bitch for another video. So, hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It is I, your sister from another Mr. Thick Chick Vlogs. And girl, we are going to be sparking a little bit of a debate down in the comment section down below. And I do want to give a shout out to my sister from another Mr. And my brother from another mother. Much love from KY and the brother James Caldwell. If you guys don't know who that, I'm pretty sure y'all already know who both of those people are. But if you don't, I am going to link their channels down in the description box down below, girl. And um, they were both talking about in a video. Uh, well, James uh uh was talking about something in a video, and then my um my sister from another Mister Miss Much Miss Miss Much Love from KY AKA Nina. She um did a uh, a reply to the brother James Caldwell's video. So I feel like I want to kind of put my two cents in and kind of get my subscribers opinion on it as well. Again, I will leave their links down in the description box below. And it's something else I wanted to talk about in this video too, girl. Girl, y'all gonna fucking gag at this one, okay? But basically, um, the brother James, Cal James Caldwell, he put up a video um, showing this young lady who was on, I'm thinking it was a bus or a subway or something. I'm thinking it was a bus. But anyway, the young lady was on a bus and she was sitting on a seat and I guess the bus was, you know, fairly crowded or whatever. And she decides that she wants to sit her, you know, her bag or whatever in the seat next to her. Now, this is one of the reasons why I said I really don't want to live in the city because, you know, girl, I would stay in jail. I mean, seeing some of the videos and things, and I know it's not like that in all cities. I want to make that perfectly clear. But... Seeing how some people act on some of these buses and subways and some cities and things people do. And I mean, it's, it's real funny to me when I see a lot of people who um act a straight up fool on these buses and subways. And there are other people on there who literally, they just keep on doing what they're doing like they don't even exist. I mean, my, by me being from Alabama, that shit would have me like, what the fuck? And of course, you can't really react to a lot of that stuff when you in like New York and places like that because people are crazy. But this young lady, she decided that she wanted to sit her bag in the seat next to her. And there was a young man who came up who needed a seat and apparently she wouldn't move her bag. So I'm, I'm guessing he moved her bag or something like that. And she was literally lashing out at him, like calling him all kind of uh, uh, F words, you know, F words. I don't, I don't really want to, even though I call people bitches and hoes and shit like that. She was calling him, a, you know, the F bomb when it comes to, um, you know, uh, uh, gay people. And she was just going all kind of ham and cheese on this man. I mean, he was just sitting there. He really wasn't paying her no attention. He was minding his own business. And she was just going on and on and on and on. You move my shit, you motherfucker. You black nigga this. You this, you that, you motherfucking F. I mean, she was just going off on this dude. And the whole time he's just sitting there. And uh, I, I could if he was saying something back to her, I couldn't, um, I, I didn't hear him say anything back to her. If he was, he was probably saying it in, a, in, a, in such a low tone that I couldn't hear him. And um, they proceed to look like he was looking under the seat for something. I don't know if she, he dropped her bag mistakenly on the floor or exactly what happened. But anyway, he was looking under the seat. I don't know what exactly they were looking for. But eventually, he was sitting down and she got so to the point where she was hot and heated. And he did turn her back, his back on her. And she was still going on and on and on. And she eventually put her hand in his face. And I guess she was like kind of pushing him. And that's when he popped in. Him. I mean, she was literally going on. Yeah, I don't know how long the video was. But he popped her in the mouth. When he popped her in the mouth, she go, I mean, she was just sitting there like she was just shocked. Like, oh my God, he hit me. And a lot of people feel like it's fucked up for a man to put his hands on a woman. So, what I'm asking my subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, is it ever okay for a man to put his hands on a woman? Is it ever okay? Is it ever a situation where you could be like, that bitch deserved that? Or her ass was campaigning for that ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? You can have, you know, there are a lot of instances to where people can provoke a person to do something that they may have, you know, maybe in another situation they probably would have never done. Now, I know that my mama always taught me this. You keep your damn hands to yourself. No matter who the hell you are, man, male, female, you put, everybody need to keep their damn hands to themselves. Or nobody need to be putting their hands on nobody. That's always what my mother taught us, okay? But at the same time, my mother also taught us, if a person hits you, you hit their ass back, you know. But I do understand how some people be like, well, you know, a man, he's a little bit strong. He's, he's way stronger than a female. He ne should never be putting his hands on a woman. But let me ask you this, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, for those of you who have sons and things that are in school, sometimes you got, 
Hell, you have females who bully boys. Would you encourage your son, if you got a, a little girl that's picking on him in school, yes, he can sit there and go tell the teacher and then the principal and shit like that. Let me tell y'all a little bit of something about that. Coming from a, a person who was bullied in school, a lot of times when you go and tell those teachers, when you go and tell the principal, they may sit there and, and, and you know, tell them this, to, to stop doing it. But at the end of the day, those people really don't do shit. I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. A lot of times when you have children in school who are being bullied and picked on, those people really don't do anything. And, and you know, it's, it's kind of a waste of time for you to even go up and tell the teacher, especially nowadays when you got damn parents who crazy to the point where they'll come to the school and they'll be ready to jump on their damn teacher. You kind of get what I'm saying? So would you encourage your son to, you know, if a girl hitting on him, just go and tell or some shit or, or walk away. And there are instances where men are being verbally attacked by women and they, they walk off from him and the woman will follow behind them and, you know, proceed to hit him and shit, you know, because I guess they feel like motherfucker, you, if you ain't gonna stay in my face and let me do whatever I need to do, say whatever I need to say, they'll chase behind him and, and beat his ass. So, and I, and of course we are talking about, is it ever okay for a man to hit a woman? We're not talking about, you know, the whole, uh, uh, abusive type stuff. I'm talking about if you have a woman who is lashing out at a man, he's trying to ignore her. He's trying to walk away and she proceeds to attack him. Is it ever okay for him to defend himself. I want you guys to answer that down in the comment section. Would you ever encourage your son if a girl um, is attacking him or if a girl is hitting him, would you tell him to walk away, go and tell someone or would you tell him, um, you know, it, it, is it ever an instance to where you would say it's okay for a man to put a woman in her place when it comes to hitting her or something like that if she's doing things like this? Um, as, as that lady did. Now you guys can, like I said, you guys can go over and watch James Call James Caldwell's video as well as um, Nina's video. I will leave their um, video links down in the description box of this video. And I definitely want to hear you guys' opinions on that down in the comment section. Is it ever okay for a man to put his hands on a woman? Okay, leave it down in the comment section. Now the next thing that we're gonna talk about, girl, and this is going to make you fucking gag, bitch. Are y'all ready for this? This came from off of my Facebook page, WBLS 107.5, okay? I'm assuming they do the strawberry letters every day. I don't know if they do them every day or every other day, but my cousin shared this with me, and I was like, you know what? I got to turn this shit into a video because, bitch, I got to hear my family members' opinions on this. Y'all ready for this, girl? Today's strawberry letter. Dear Shirley, I am a 30-year-old man. I've been married to my wife for five years now. I love my wife. And we keep no secrets. Well, that's before one night that I was hanging with the fellas and my wife's brother, who is a proud gay man at a club. We were all throwing back shots and we got a little too tipsy. As we started to head home, I just carpooled with my brother-in-law, which is his wife's sister. I mean, his wife's brother, excuse me. And that was no shade, bitch. I just made a mistake and said his wife's sister, girl. Um, I stayed at his house that night and things flew out of hand. We sat down and talked and excessive touching was in play. Then we kissed and one thing led to another. I slept with my wife's brother. How do I explain to my wife about this and that I might be gay? So, family, I am fuck number one, I'm gagging because simply because number one, not only did he cheat on his wife, Okay, he cheated on his wife with a, with a man. Not only did he cheat on his wife and cheat on her with a man, he cheated on her with her brother. Bitch! Can you imagine, okay, your husband coming home telling you, I had an affair. Not only did I have an affair, I had an affair with a man. And not only did I have an affair and I had an affair with a man, but the man that I had an affair with is your brother. Bitch, I would just die. Not necessarily even because he, he cheated on me with a man. But motherfucker, you cheated on me with my brother. Okay? Of course, he's talking about they got a little too tipsy. And now, there are a lot of people in the comment section underneath this who are basically saying that sometimes when people get drunk, people do things that they don't necessarily mean to do. Now, I can't necessarily say that because there are a lot of people who get, I mean, fucked up. And I don't know nobody who would get drunk to the point where, like me, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't see myself getting drunk to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm having sex with a, with a woman. I mean, I'm not a, a gay woman. Okay. 
I'm not, I'm just not a gay woman. So I don't see a person getting that damn drunk to the point where, I mean, and then you didn't even say you was drunk. You said you was tipsy. So you can't sit there and even play that goddamn role with dagger. So I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Let me read you some of these comments right here. People are leaving up under this. And like I said, I want you guys to chime in down in the comment section. Some people were like, I don't even tell her. Just, 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 just tell her you want a divorce. Don't even mention to her that you have had sex with her brother. Okay. Don't even do that. And for him to say he might be gay. What do you guys think about that? I want to ask you guys that question. If, and this is going to bring up a, a great debate as well. I want you guys to chime in down in the comment section. And again, I want to also uh, piggyback off of, off of something that I always say. And also something that my um, my sister from another middle Miss Much Love said in her video as well. We can all agree to disagree. Nobody's, you know, downplaying anybody's sexual orientation or anything like that. Y'all know I always tell y'all that I, girl... Do what the hell you want to do. I'm one of those people who I support the LGBT community, girl. Y'all already know I talk about a lot of people that I watch on YouTube who are gay and transgendered and things like that. And I have absolutely no problem with them and I, I don't judge them at all. So I want to make that perfectly clear. But what I want to know um, from you guys, do you think that a person can have a sexual um, experience with someone of the same sex one time and, and, and they're not gay? Do you think that could happen? Do you think a man can have sexual desires for another man and not be gay? Do you think that's possible? Um, let me know down in the comment section below. But like, again, let me um, read some of this stuff people were saying, okay? Um, like, like Sean, this, this, well, I'm not going to call his damn name. Girl, don't be calling nobody name on your damn YouTube channel, girl. These people don't even fucking know you, girl. Okay. He said three times the anger. This is exactly what I said, bitch. This is funny. He said, you cheated. You cheated with the man. You cheated with her brother. Not only did your cheating break up your home, but it may as well broken up your wife's family. This is betrayal on a whole nother level. I, I agree with that. And that's one of the reasons why some people were like, I don't think he should tell her. Okay. Because it could, it could possibly break up your marriage. And not only will it break up your marriage, it's going to break up, you know, I mean, she could feel like, okay, my brother, you didn't betray me. Okay. I don't want to have shit else to do with you either. So, I mean, at the same time, I know I'm probably, you know, I, me personally, I would probably want to know something like that. It's not like, but then again, you know, that'll be some shit that you'll be like, motherfucker, just don't tell me, goddamn, just leave me the fuck alone, okay? Number one, y'all know, I've said several times in my videos that I do not, I'm one of those people that, I can't, I, I, I'm, I can't forgive a person who cheated on me. I know some people say, well, it depends on how many times they did it. If they just did it one time and it was a, you know, it, it was just a one-time thing. It depended on the length of the cheating. I could possibly forgive them. But I'm one of those types of people who I can't forgive a cheater. I, I have the, 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 the thought processes of once a cheater, always a cheater. But the, again, that's my opinion. Again, remember, we can agree to disagree down in the comment section. Okay. So I, I, I want us to debate this back and forth. All right. Somebody said, um, I'm sorry, but yes, you are gay. You are wrong in all kinds of ways. I hope that when you do open your mouth to tell her that she beats your ass and her brother's ass because you both was wrong. There are lines that should not have been crossed and you both went there. Grow up and be a man and tell her what you have done. Now, like I said, I don't, I ain't no way in the hell I could, I could get tipsy to the point where I'm sitting there and, and having sex with my sister's husband. I'm sorry. I, number one, I'm not even going to be sitting goddamn that goddamn close to you on no goddamn couch. For you to be rubbing on me and shit. I'm sorry. No. And not just that. Well, shit. Then again, I was just about to say, hell, I would never be in the house alone with my sister's husband. But, you know, I guess when you got a, a, a me and my my sister's, uh, or me and my, uh, me and, just say me and the juice man. If juice man had a sister, me and the juice man's sister. You know, you wouldn't think anything like that would happen. But this is some crazy ass shit. Let me read one more. Um, Somebody said, uh... Shit. Okay. This girl said, how do, how does excessive talking lead to sleeping with a man? Let's set aside that it's your wife's brother. You wanted to sleep with him because there's an attraction for him. There's no if buts about it. You're gay. You've always been gay. Or you could be bi. Who knows? It's just that bro-in-law brought it out of you. My thing, my thing is why even waste a woman's time, woman's time if you know that you may or do have a thing for a man. Now, um, I, I kind of, you know, sometimes you have people who, uh, they have these sexual desires, but they don't necessarily act upon them. I do know that not, not necessarily even from, even for the same sex. You sometimes have people who are 
sexually attracted to maybe a co-worker. It, it, it doesn't have to be of the same sex, but they don't necessarily act upon it. But I kind of agree with what she was saying. You know, you you gay and you probably have always been gay, especially if you talk about how do I tell my wife that I might be gay. I mean, it just, what the hell? So what do you guys think about that? First of all, what do you think about this letter, okay? The fact that this dude was, was out having drinks with his, you know, his homeboys and his wife's brother who was a proud gay man. He got a little too tipsy and decided that he wanted to go back you know, ride back in the car with his brother, went to his brother's house. First of all, how did you even end up at the brother's house? Why couldn't you just go home? Which is kind of weird to me. But anyway, he ended up at the brother's house. Y'all sitting there having a conversation. How the fuck do talking end up with you touching on me? What the fuck kind of conversation are we having? Okay? What kind of conversation are we having to the point where we just get to touch, touch, touching and kissing and we ended up, end up having sex? I just want to know how does that even occur in that little you know, that, that, that length of time. I'm just not understanding the logic behind that. So I want you guys to chime in down there, um, in the comment section about that as well. What do you think about this strawberry letter? Um, also, do you think that, um, the man is gay or do you think that a man can have a sexual experience with a man or do you think a woman can have a sexual experience with a woman one time and they not be gay? Do you think that, do you think he should tell the wife, would you want to know? If your husband had a sexual experience with your gay brother, would you want to know? You got some women out there who feel like motherfucker just leave me. I don't even want to know because I, at the same time, they probably don't want to. I mean, it'll break up an entire. It, it can possibly break up an entire family. I mean, you got some people who can forgive and forget, but at the same time, you have these types of situations that can break up an entire family. So let me know about that down in the comment section, and do not forget to let me know: Is it ever okay for a man to put his hands on a woman? Okay. I remember to check the description box because I'm going to link brother um brother James Caldwell and also I'm going to link um much love from KY's video down in the description box and definitely make sure you check out both of their videos. Also definitely make sure you check out James Caldwell video because he has the actual clip of the incident in his video. So definitely check out their videos down in the comment section below. I cannot wait to see you guys' comments. And remember we can agree to disagree. In no shape, form, or fashion should anybody be in the comment section arguing. It's okay to have a heated debate, but at the same time, there's no need for grown people to be in the comment section arguing about somebody else's opinion. But at the same time, don't get upset because somebody else has a, a difference of opinion than you do. You can debate it, but at the same time, you can't just sit there and get upset because somebody feels a certain type of way. You just cannot do that. So again, I want to see you co your comments down in the comments section below. Remember, if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, share this video on your social media accounts, Facebook, goddamn Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you share videos at. Also, don't forget to add me on Facebook. Those links are also down in the description. I will also leave the link to my website for those of you that always ask me about legitimate work at home jobs. I post legitimate work at home jobs on my website every single day. It's always updated. So definitely bookmark that and, and go back and check it every day or around. Uh, I say anytime before lunchtime, I'll probably end up, up uploading the new work at home job. But sometimes it, take, it takes me a while to um, research it and um, yeah, it, it, it takes a whole lot of work for me to research a lot of those things because I try to research as much as possible. Remember, there are scams out there and I'm a human being and sometimes I may overlook something. So if you come across something that you know for a fact is a scam, be sure to let me know and I will research it myself and remove it. So definitely let me know that. But check all check the description box for all of the links that I mentioned and I will see you guys in the next video.